hi everyone welcome back to another tutorial so in today's video i'm going to be teaching you how to make this sublimated tropilo and this frame okay so i know i have taught you how to make this on this channel before but i just want to give you some updates so make sure you watch the video to the very end all right so let's get started so we're going to start uh with the frame okay so let's start with the frame so let's just fold our um sublimated cloth and begin with the frame okay so i have my printed um picture on the heart um paper okay so at uh, the back of the heart paper i have a very plain and beautiful paper there so you can see the paper uh i'm going to be using it in place of um straw board you know normally when you are after coupling your picture inside the frame, you are going to put straw board at the back. Okay, so uh, when you print and you laminate it like this, after lamination, I'm using sugar lamination. This paper is going to come with it. Okay, so don't throw away the paper because the paper is going to be useful for us. We are going to be using it in place of straw board. And the paper is not only beautiful, it also reduces the cost. Instead of buying a straw board of 500 Naira or 800 Naira or thereabouts, you can just use the paper that comes with the lamination, right? So, as I've said before, I laminated this art card with um, sugar lamination, you know. You can also use some other lamination that you want or you can just leave your card like that but i would advise that you always laminate your art card after printing on it so you see this paper how beautiful the paper is i would suggest you use this paper especially if you don't want to cover the whole back of your frame with plus um with uh, tape okay so in this video i'm not going to be covering the whole back of the frame okay so it will make it look beautiful you know it has a, a, the paper has line and it's give it a kind of you know beauty um i i prefer to use it than a straw board you know straw board is brown sort of so i think this one will go with it also somebody uh says something on the group which i said if the customer pay well there is no need of improvising okay the person said if she can use cardboard okay i mean carton or anything other than um, straw board okay so let me correct that you know i said you should not improvise if the customer can pay yes so if you are working with somebody that is paying you very well there is no need of improvising o although you know if you are covering the whole bag with uh, tape i think there is no need of even using straw board you can use um carton yeah since you're going to cover the whole bag right i hope you understand what i just mean now so you can improvise by using uh, carton especially if you want to cover the whole bag but i would suggest if you are not covering the whole bag i would suggest you either use this paper or you use straw board so that it will be beautiful it will just look um awkward so the first step i use is um uh, clear white um tape and i use that because i i believe that hold enough it holds well so and uh, i'll just go ahead and use my black tape and um there was a question that somebody asked to that can we use any other color of tape of course yes of course the major reason um of using tape is just to cover the back and to make sure the paper is not um will not remove or um uh the the screw or the tack nail that we put or will not hurt somebody you know just to prevent something and just to cover the back that's it so it's not that the back is going to show or something so if you can use any other tape here yeah, that is not black or that is not white okay you know in the last video i think i used something brown and um, black so and i'm using clear white and black this time around so you can also use any tape that you have at home i hope you understand that okay so and the last video i made i used tack nail to hold the the art um paper to the frame 
so and this video i'm using screw so the idea is just to hold the screw you can even use nail you may not use tack nail you may not use screw the idea is just to hold the card so that it will not come up or it will not uh, to give it that kind of firmness to the frame mm? so now because i'm not covering it i'll just make sure i do it neatly and i will just leave some space in the middle hmm? i think i love it that way unlike i'm um, just covering the whole back and everything will just be <laughs> we, we just be black right okay so just like that and it's just your creativity that comes with it and just just make sure that you are doing something right okay so you can see this is how i'm going to leave it it's so beautiful and i love the way it is yes i love the way it is you know the fact that you just you know flip the back and you are seeing some you know the back is not black or through or thereabouts and this is how the frame look like now it's so beautiful and cute okay so let's just put the back hook on it so before we go for that to create a tropilo okay so if this is your first time of watching this video i have created something related to this one before i'm going to drop the link in the description box below to explain you know that one is very detailed and i explain everything where you will print it out how you are going to do it, the step-by-step -step guide so you can just go ahead and also watch that one if you don't really get um, this particular one so let's go ahead and create our throw pillow so I have my printed um, uh, clothes here and um, this is sublimation. This one will not peel, will not wash away, will not um, fade. It's, it's going to last. That is it. So the picture is sublimated on um, bridal satin. Yeah, shiny bridal satin. Okay, and this is the back of the throw pillow. I'm going to be um, slanting um the zipper at the back so i added one inch to to the measurements of the back so that it will be the carrier for uh for the zipper okay so uh you know there's different way of putting your zipper you can either put your zipper even at the top of the tropilo or you can put it um, by the side or you can also put it at the middle this time around i'm putting it at the back and you're going to see the outcome later i love the way it's um, it came out thereafter because and it was also easy for me to put my throw pillow so if you don't know how to sew there's no problem about it i've explained in most of my videos we have created something related to this how you can go about this if you don't know how to sew but this will really be of help to you if you know how to sew because it will also make you it will help you to also make more profits yes okay so after creating the back and uh, zipper i will just put on um, the frontal part and i'm going to stitch that one down also neatly so uh there's no need of reminding you this but <laughs> let me just remind you sure make sure you are using uh a matching thread so i'm using black thread this time around yes because um is is black and white so you can either use black and you can either use uh, uh, white so this time around i'm using black thread so because you want to create something beautiful for your for your customer right take your time and create something nice and i will also advise you that um, when you are printing it although when they are printing for you people that are printing it for you they are going to give you extra space like this one inch that you see on top that is your sewing allowance so don't cut it out or trim it out when you are about to sew because it's going to be of help to you uh, later you're going to see what we are going to be using it for later in the video and uh, you will see that it's more easier for us we are going to be using it to pipe around instead of us cutting another fabric okay so we are going to start um, piping this now we want it to be neat or you can also um 
you can also um, take it to a whipping machine and whip this but if you don't have a whipping machine or you don't have access to it this is the best way to do it and i love it this way you just pipe it around just fold the excesses in twice and you have a very neat finishing mm? Um, finishing is one of the key to best results when you are creating something like this you don't want to create something that when they open it everywhere will just be rough or you just see all the wood uh, i mean all the thread coming out or the wool coming out of the cloth you don't want that to happen you want to create something very beautiful and that will make you last or that will make um you to retain your customers i hope you understand what i mean <laughs> okay so just go ahead and create something nice and beautiful if this is your first time of seeing my video my name is damilola and uh, on this channel i create content that you can monetize yes the ones that you make and you will make money from that is just my aim teaching you something you can learn and you make money I also teach you ways of making money yeah i do sit down videos so if that is something that you are interested in yes so i would like you to subscribe and join this community of diy of making money of learning skills if there's anything i love so much is learning skills that will get you money yes i so much love it because i believe in what you can use this your 10 fingers to do <laughs> yeah so and make sure you like this video it will go a long way to promote this video and also drop your comments in the comment section below okay and this is how it's looking now see how beautiful it is very neat and very beautiful see what i mean by this it's so neat yes and i went ahead also to create the pillow yeah you know this is the pillowcase right this is the pillowcase the main body is the pillowcase so we will need the pillow itself where the fiber will go into so i just go ahead and turn it inside out and this is how it looks after turning it inside out see how it is make sure you bring out the pointy part so that it will come out and it will look very nice okay so see the way the back side is see how neat it is okay so let's just go ahead and put fiber inside the pillow and we will close the opening part so when you are sewing the pillow make sure you uh, leave some space so that you will be able to put your fiber inside and these are the fibers i'm going to be putting inside this so make sure you fill your pillow very well that is another beauty that comes with throw pillow if you don't know how to fill uh, your pillow well it will just lose scatter if uh, your fiber comes it's it, when it, if your fiber is um, compressed together just try and uh, remove it yes just yes see the way i'm doing it just try so that it soon be clustered together i don't know how to explain that <laughs> it soon uh, chunk together so make sure you just try and use your hand um to pieces it yes and um, just take your time and feel your tropilo make sure it's well filled it's firm it should be well filled right especially if you are doing it by yourself feel it very well so that your customer will love it it's not that they will put their head on it or put their they just use it once and everything just goes down mm? so you know the the fiber is usually compressed so you have to fill it well and i would advise you can use like um one kg yeah i know that is much but it's okay i love it it makes it very firm mm? it makes it very firm and give you something nice you get so that is why you need to charge your customers well so that you'll be able to give them something nice and good mm -hmm. don't just do something because uh, let me just do it do it because you want to give something nice do it because you want to give something nice and this is how it's looking now i have closed the opening part you can use your thread and needle to do that and see what i i, I have now make sure you feel the pointy part very well that will bring out the beauty and now we are going to just insert it into our pillowcase and that will give us what we want 
and also if you are choosing the color for this um, back of the throw pillow or what you want to put inside make sure you choose the color right yes let the color match with what you have in, at the front of the pillow you understand okay so look at what we have here isn't this beautiful this is so cute and lovely it's the best gift you can give to somebody during um birthday during a uh, wedding anniversary they will love it they will love it they will love it and also let's um our frame yes so let's package it for delivery <laughs> so i'm just going to use this brown paper i bought the size of the frame and that is what i'm going to be using so you can also depending on the size of the frame that you have so you get the brown paper someone has a question how you can package it this is the best way to package it because of uh, the hedges of this um of the frame you need to be careful with it so if you package it like this i think it's very nice and presentable okay so this is what we have and this is how it's looking now the two is so beautiful and so cute thank you so much for watching this video to this very point i will see you in my next one bye